I said, let me open my inventory, please. We gotta hurry, though. We don't want to run out of uh, approval. Sparta! Oh, thank you. Are you all right? I'm... I... I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Why? What... What What'd she do to you? Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace. Jan, get this wrong. Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briella. All I'm getting here is that Briella made a bad call. So this room belongs to Grand Duchess Florian. It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Shiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. Uh, you're brave to come here. It takes great courage to come to the royal wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Something like that could destroy Briala, if it were known. No. Time to kill you. Some know she has a, a history with the Empress. But they believe she was just a favored servant. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Most Orlesians would say that's Celine's scandal, not Briala's. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. Bye! Everyone here sucks ass on major levels. I'm thinking trap. Yes, definitely. Well, that sound means rift. Oh. Hello. Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no oh, it's you. Big fucking surprise. I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment. If you were looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. What did he promise you? Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Celine's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus why would you believe? What? I don't get why you care so much. Why are you invested in this? Him. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united world, guided by the hand of an attentive god. Your Orlesian royalty. Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? How do you Things benefit from this? Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? Yeah, but how I do admit, you benefit from that? I relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. 
He always was a sore loser. What exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas, and Corypheus will save me. When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. Eh, he'll be disappointed. He'll You're be used to it. Kind, Florian. He's got to get used to disappointment. But not today, I think. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Selin myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. It will make a fine gift for the master. An awful lot of confidence in, her ability to, in their ability to stop me, you know. That's a rage demon. And a spare demon. Okay, one of you dispelled this fucking thing. Never mind, we're good. Stuck? No, he got free. Close the rift. Talk to home dude's gonna pop up once we're done. There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? Good eye. Those were definitely demons. Make her bless me. Demons. How could there be demons in the fucking Winter Palace? When you got through the rift the that, that somehow appeared here. Fucking horrors over a damn bill. Duke Gaspard lured you out here. Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? But all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. You honestly believe you were captured, tied up, and thrown into a death trap because of a bill? When you put it like that, it seems a bit odd. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So, so we hired, hired mercenaries? <laughs> He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orle. Stinking, fancy cheesemongers. Come work for me. Want a new job? One that pays better. The Inquisition can always use a good mercenary company. You hire Beyond me? bulls. I'm game. Anything's better than this bullshit. You want me to talk to the Empress or the court or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. Gotta get out of here now. Gotta get out of here. Make the ballroom. Hi. Okay, so... Okay, there we go. This guy still wailing on him. Bad enough, now there's two of them. And they got Dorian. God damn, which way to the fucking button? Is this it? Grand Ballroom, okay.
Made it, bitch. Thank the Maker, you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Yeah, let's expose her. Cullen, I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. Well, expose her. No time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment. Look at that achievement. Oh, I changed outfits too. Ugh. The eyes of every noble in the Empire are upon us, Your Grace. Remember to smile. This is your party. You wouldn't want them to think you had lost control. Who would not be delighted to speak with you, Inquisitor? Uh, uh, me thinks you. Saying. All I needed was to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. When your archers failed to kill me in the garden, I feared you wouldn't save me this last turn. It's so easy to lose your good graces. You even framed your brother for the murder of a council emissary. It was an ambitious plan. Selene, Gaspard, the entire Council of Heralds. All your enemies under one roof. This is very entertaining. But you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. That will be a matter for a judge to decide, cousin. Gaspard? You cannot believe this. Gaspar? No, I would never. Gaspar? Gotcha, bitch. You lost this fight ages ago, Your Grace. You're just the last to find out. What have you challenged me? I embarrass you publicly. Your Imperial Majesty, I think we should speak in private elsewhere. Because I have the authority. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans, but you. You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent and failing. Enough. We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Yeah, Brielle helped. I wouldn't have caught Florian in time without Brielle's help. You were working together. Of course. We have the notes to your general ordering him to move troops covertly into the palace grounds. It was a defensive choice. I expected betrayal here, just not by my own sister. Keep talking, Gaspard. Eventually, you'll convince somebody. Mercenaries. The mercenary captain will confirm that Gaspard brought hired thugs into the palace for an attack. Mercenaries. So much for your chevalier honor, cousin. And, of course, he made death threats to the Council of Heralds. Briala found all of this out for your sake, Selene. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You was that not already obvious? Were you... What was... I mean... I think Ambassador Briala deserves some reward for uncovering all this. I can scarcely believe you did all this for me. Selim. You two were, were having a civil war. Was he not already an enemy of the Empire? Or was what's the deal about that? Tonight, I owe you my life. And Orle owes you its future. You have done so much. For my people and for us. 
We won't forget this. Always glad to be of help. It's my pleasure. The two of you deserve to be happy. We truly are. Come, stand with us, Inquisitor. We must give the good news to the nobility. Lords and ladies of the court, this is a night for celebration. Those who sought to poison our empire with treason have been brought to justice. It is a new age for Orlé. We shall build a world in which all men and women live in harmony. Let the cornerstone of change be laid. I introduce the newest member of our court, Marquise Briala of the Dales. Oh, there was so much phlegm behind that one, wasn't there? This is not just a victory in Halam Shiral, or within the Empire, or even for elves alone. This is a triumph for everyone. Over a thousand years ago in the Valerian fields, elves and humans together defeated the Imperium. We can do so much more now. We are greater than our ancestors ever dreamed. Together, we will start by saving our world from the enemy who took the divine and tore the sky apart. This evening proves what we can accomplish through cooperation. We are already tracking these Tevinter agents. Soon they'll have no place to hide. You're not gonna let me speak more? Tomorrow. I was gonna say one sentence Tonight, and that's it. We celebrate our newfound fellowship. Let the festivities commence! Oh. Oh. The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their I'm always happy to see you, Morgan. It is most fickle after all your efforts on their behalf. I would have stayed, but the punch ran dry. Scandalous. <laughs> Indeed. Let us see if you take this piece of news as poorly. By Imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. So Let's go! For you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. Yeah, I love having you with me. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Celine knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. And what are you able to do? I mean, you're Morgan, you can do a lot. Us. I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, thus it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal. Oh, she believes she does blood magic. I think she's actually opposes that, isn't she? As you desire. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Bye. Oh, my man. Does Colin recognize her? Because they met before too, haven't they? Been looking for you. According to the Things rules of the first game. For the moment. Are you all right? I'm just worn out. Tonight has been very long. For all of us, I'm glad it's over. It's not over yet. We have a dance. Foolish, but I was worried for you. I may never have another chance like this, so 
must ask. May I have this dance, my lady? Well, of fucking course. <laughs> thought you'd never ask. I thought you didn't dance. For you, I'll try. Such a helpless romantic. I love you, Cullen. Achievement. Again. Put me back in the game, please. Oh, hello. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. Who the fuck I'm are you? I'm well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Make us mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lady Inquisitor. Can I help you? May I have a word with you? I don't even know who you are. How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Seeker Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. So, I mean, Cassandra is my main party member and Liliana is our spy master. We kind of fucking need her. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy. Her hopes for peace in Fadas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. Because it's that fucking divided? You must think very well of them to suggest such a thing. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. That's too long. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returned. More than a few days would be too long. Leliana and Cassandra would have to make that decision for themselves. And they certainly will, at a later date. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Who let you in here in the first place? Wait a minute, I thought you guys didn't like me. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. The support of the Empire should make our search for the Grey Wardens easier. Varric is eager to help his friend Hawk. Anyways. Now that's over with. Hang on. Save. And that shall be it for tonight. Because we've been recording now for 3 hours and 22 minutes. Which is longer than it was supposed to be. But it is how it is. So guys. We probably won't record more of this until Tuesday. It's currently Friday. Or it was Friday, now it's Saturday. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, we'll record more of this on Tuesday. Uh, we'll probably go and... Well, no, we'll definitely go and start uh, Empire de Leon. But we'll be doing a few uh, missions around Skyhold first. Then we'll go do that. <sighs> we got work to go and do. <laughs> I would say now we've probably reached a halfway point in this game. You know, 13 or however many sessions, 13? 12 sessions in, we've now finally reached a halfway point. But hey, we're making progress. So, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed things so far. Uh, as like I said before, you know, the one we just finished, uh, the Wicked Hearts and Wicked Minds, that was the name of that quest or mission. Uh, it's my favorite one in the entire game for story missions and all that. And yeah, now we just go on with the rest of the game. Pushing on. You know what? I can't say we're halfway done. I forgot about the fucking DLC. The DLC has so much more to the game. So, uh, fuck it, whatever. We're halfway done with the main game, I guess. But, uh, yeah. 
Um, until Tuesday, we'll be done for now. Um, our next session will be on Monday. It will be more Batman. Look forward to that. And yeah, until then, guys, I just hope you guys have uh, enjoyed things. So until we come back for more, I hope you guys have a good day. Have a good night. Get plenty of sleep, plenty to eat. Stay safe, stay healthy, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys all later, okay? Bye-bye.